Michael, there is no way Brooke said you're off the hook. Okay, I bet she said, I'm gonna take every penny you have, you irresponsible bastard, because that's what I would say. No, she definitely said off the hook. Man, I am one tall, cute, lucky kid. So that's it, man? It's like this thing with you and Brooke never happened? Yeah. Well, I know. I mean, there's still gonna be a baby out there. But my life's back to normal. <laughs> sort of. I mean, it's kind of weird. But I gotta think about it, because I don't need to. <laughs> you know, I should be happy right now. You know, I am happy right now. Yeah, I think. Yeah, think. Feel. Look deep inside. Like, deep, deep inside, almost to China. <laughs> There's a good guy in there. You know what? Don't lecture me. Okay? I went to her, and I tried to talk to her, and she said it was cool, which is awesome, because this could, like, screw up my whole life. Yeah, man, you know, you gotta stay focused. You're gonna invent those quadruple Oreos. <laughs> those are a secret, man. No, yeah, this is good. Why put yourself out for some kid? Children grow up without dads all the time. Right. Yeah, like Steven. Well, I don't want him ending up like Hyde. <laughs> Look at him. Hair all frizzed out with angry thoughts. Oh. And violent, too. Kelso, you know what you should do? You're not going to do it because you're too much of a tool. You know what? It's really easy to talk about the right thing to do when it's not your life. Tool. <laughs> Steven, you're sensitive to this because your father ditched you, too. But it's so foxy. <laughs> Hey, why don't we go down to my room? I'll tell you about the time my mom got so loaded on mouthwash, she lost our rent money at the track. <laughs> wow, you really are pregnant. Uh, we make them really tiny now. Or to pound my ass. Hey, I need to talk to you. Kelso, that's great. Here, take my seat. Sit down. I'll just be right over there. Good for you. All right. At first, when you told me that I was off the hook, I was, like, totally psyched, right? But then I started to think about it, and I don't want to be off the hook. I want to be a part of this kid's life. Michael, I didn't let you off the hook to be nice. I just don't think you understand what it means to have a baby. No, but I do. It... It means you know, taking him to t-ball games and, and teaching him how to ride a bike and taking him to the doctor when he's sick. And what if it's a girl? Oh, it's not going to be a girl. We did it standing up. Uh-huh. Okay, well, maybe this will change your mind. I went and got some stuff today to welcome the little guy into the world. This little sweater to keep him warm and... This little hat to keep the sun off of his face. And I got some Pop Rocks, because I always want to see a baby eat Pop Rocks. Michael, if you get involved, I'm just going to have two babies to take care of instead of one. Look, you can try to get rid of me, but I'm not walking away from this. I'm sorry. I just don't want you to be the father of my child. This is all your fault. Yeah, go talk to her and, and, and do the right thing. Kelso, I'm so sorry. I wish there was something I could do to make you feel better. Well, there isn't. OK, fine. I'll give you 10 seconds to squeeze my ass as much as you want. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but there's some things that a girl's ass can't fix. 